When there's conquest to be done. Right, so for a quick recap, last time we, uh, oh, sorry, I annexed Belgium and got sod all for it. Uh, apparently there's a rebellion in Russia, which has instantly been resolved peacefully. And, um, the Dutch narrowly avoided death. However, they cannot evade it forever. It's going to take more than a computer crash to stop the Edwardian Hussars, you Dutch bastards. It's a shame, really. I like the Dutch. We had a bloody good laugh together in the Eighty Years' War. Never mind the bullets, chaps. It could always be worse. They could be shooting at us with artillery. Okay, at least it's not raining. No horses, no problem. Well, if the bullet to the chest didn't do it, I'm sure the, uh, broken neck will. Oh, you scoundrel, do you have a clue who you are stabbing? To stab Edward Hastings is to stab the devil himself. I don't know what that man did to deserve such a torturous demise, but God let it happen, so clearly he did something. Apologies, gentlemen. However, the Edwardian Hussars have decided to execute you for being Dutch. Well, Raider is now British. It was just meant to be. And if any of you watching this know how it's pronounced, and if it is not pronounced Breda, you can shut up, because it is now, because I have taken it over. Right, I forgot about that. We need to speak with Queen Victoria. Only problem is, she could be anywhere in the world, and I have no way of knowing where. And that message does not fill me with confidence on the well-being of the Empire. Well, I'm back in England, I'm going to reinforce the Edwardian Hussars Division a tad bit and recruit some more chaps, and uh, hope I receive any hints as to where Queen Victoria is so that I may finally become a vassal and potentially get something for all of the places I'm taking. There is a rebellion in the British colonies, you say? Fine observation, my good man. Have you also observed how the sky is blue? I also feel the need to explain why all of my chaps are deserting, in case you don't know. Earlier in the series, before I had an army of my own, I didn't bother buying food, because it was just Edward Hastings and nobody else, so I didn't think it would matter. Now all of my chaps are very pissed off with me because I didn't have food when they weren't here. I, I don't know either. But they are quite cross. Yeah, it's quite cross indeed. And if this chap could stop running, that'll be just spiffing. Hello, my good sir. It's been a good few weeks since I last, um, battered you. Ladies and gentlemen, the efficiency of the Edwardian Hussars has just increased by about 900%. We have figured out what a line is. This is a display of pure gallantry. Oh, what am I saying? That's every Edwardian Hussars battle. Those bastards! They stole our Polish flag! Send them to God! In this scenario, shooting a Dutchman is like shooting a- Oh, he's mine. Right. You are bloody lucky, my good sir, that I read that green writing. Well, the Dutch cavalry have been dealt with, and not a man has been lost. This truly shows the professionalism of the Edwardian Hussars, and the immaculate leadership of Edward Hastings. It is not up for debate. Get ready for the second charge, gentlemen. I may not have a bugle, but my vocal cords are the instrument of inspiration among this regiment. Go forth then, chaps! And if on the off chance you get shot, that is your fault. I cannot prevent that. Ah, wonderful line formation, Dutchies. But, uh, could be better. We now move on to my favourite part of the battle. The artillery crews. Make no mistake, gentlemen, these Dutchies did this to themselves. Good grief, we have Dutchies in the Edwardian Hussars Division. The only difference is they chose the right side. No, no, old boy. The battle is won when I say it is won. And as of now, I still see Dutchies standing. Aye, fair enough then, the battle has won. We lost six men, the enemy lost 87. We let our actions speak for us in the Edwardian Hussars Division. Bastard! Eh, no worries, I suppose. Guess we'll just besiege Amsterdam. Let the sheep among wolves flee. Let the real men stay. Where the devil are you? Come on then, chaps. We have a Dutch capital city to, um, peacefully persuade to join us. <laughs> I'm just joking, we're gonna shoot them. <laughs> I wouldn't bother shooting back if I were you, gentlemen. I'd rather save the ammunition for somebody who's worth shooting. Swords out. On this glorious day, 
Edward Hastings, from the front, led a valiant charge on Amsterdam. The determination on these brave young souls was un- <laughs> Little more than a minor revulsion. There was once a time when Queen Victoria told Edward Hastings to his very face that he was not a competent military commander. Look at him now. Can you think of anyone? on God's green earth that is more capable of doing this sort of thing than Edward Hastings. Fear not about the bullets, chaps. The Dutch are as likely to hit you as Edward Hastings is likely to join the French. Well sh- Well that's rather unfortunate for you, chaps. <laughs> now that man right there is an Edwardian hussar, if ever I have seen one. Good heavens, they didn't even try to defend themselves. Now you see, the Edwardian Hussars can have that effect on people. So how's your day going, old boy? Asked and answered. Oh, you villain, watch who you're stabbing. That is karma for you, old boy. I can only imagine people's reaction back in England now, whenever they read in the Daily Telegraph that Edward Hastings has just captured another foreign settlement. They're probably quite indifferent to it by now. Well, unless something disastrous happens in the last moment, Amsterdam is pretty much British. Come on, chaps, we took Amsterdam before, which was literally about ten minutes ago. I'm sure we can do it again. It's a very good Iron Maiden song called Deja Vu. It perfectly sums up this battle. Well, unless these Dutch bastards launch another cyber attack on my computer, Amsterdam is British. This joke's getting old. Third time's a charm, as they say. I don't know how many more times Amsterdam needs to be subjugated, but I will do it enough until it finally bloody sticks. Amsterdam would be British twice by now, if this mod wasn't less stable than Yemen. That was a bloody good lunge there, so very well done indeed. Well, on that note, Amsterdam, for the third time, is British. I never thought I would see the day. Good grief, the fighting at Amsterdam was so intense it shattered the North Sea. <laughs> the game crashed, and I didn't save it. I'm absolutely going to invade the Netherlands. Great to be back, chaps, for the fourth and hopefully last time. <sighs> If you're going to shoot me, mate, can you at least not be Dutch while doing it? Alright, we won. That's great, but I'm not wasting any time this time around. Well, the map looks better already. Okay. Okay. Alright. You've sold me. Well then, chaps, next stop, Rotterdam. <laughs> what are you gonna do, mate? Crash my game? We beat the shite out of King William literally a few days ago. I'm sure little will change this time around. Aside from the fact that this time he's not getting away. Stop right there, you Dutch bastards, and give us your country! I'm about to tell you chaps a joke. These Dutch Ochlands, or whatever they are, think they can best the Edwardian Hussars in cavalry combat. For a king, William's army isn't exactly... Well, threatening. The audacity of these Dutch bastards to even believe that they can avoid sharing the same fate as their Belgian neighbours. I don't know what sort of Victoria. <laughs> I'm just going to try something for this next battle, just as a wee bit of an experiment. Mate, I do outnumber you almost two to one, I'm not quite sure why you've attacked me. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. It's like a modern film trying to recreate one of Edward Hastings' battles, but they didn't have the budget to recreate the sheer numbers of the Edwardian Hussars, so this is what you get. Remind you of anything? Well, chaps, we may be far less numerous now, but we are no less British, so our advantage still stands. Never show your back to an officer, old boy. The Edwardian Hussars against literally any infantry in this game is basically like a longsword through butter. Unfortunately for you, chaps, no flag or uniform has ever stopped a bullet from a gun, or the kinetic energy from the swing of a sword. 
At least it's not raining. Oh, we won. There's a surprise. Nab. Trial and error, chaps. You just have to find the sweet spot. Why are you chaps even still out and about? Are you unaware that Edward Hastings is on the roam? Alright, now I am a tad bit wounded, but I've had worse. This isn't the first time I've seen the Dutch's backs. As a matter of fact, probably about the 17th. Come on then, boys. Let us show them how gentlemen do cavalry charges. Well, that's just a lie. I didn't hit a friendly troop. The bullet did. All right, the initial charge was a success. Let us prepare for a second. If you're going to shoot at them, chaps, do try not to miss. Off we trot then, chaps. You want to live forever? It's awfully nice of them not to shoot us while we're charging straight at them. Y you know, I like the Dutch. They're a, they're, they're a good bunch. Take this slash to the chest as a token of my appreciation. As your commander, I respect your decision. I just strongly disagree with it. I'm not quite sure why my chaps are Frenching out on me. We are literally winning. And I've just died of old age. Lovely. Well, despite that minor inconvenience, we've won. Well, so far, we've annexed half of the Netherlands. But since when did we stop at half? Some Dutch chaps just deserted my army, I wonder why. Mate, when are we going to stop this? Yield- oh, Mate, this is the third time this week. Remind me of the outcome of our previous two battles, please do. The Dutch trying to beat us in a cavalry charge, it's a bit like the North Sentinelese people trying to invade London. Again, you are running away. You are just inviting me to give you free acupuncture for your spine. Well, here comes this stage of the battle. Same old, same old. Well, they've almost figured out the square formation. We were almost in trouble. Chaps, I am warning you, keep your distance. Well, casualty rates are definitely enough. For get the- get the bloody passports ready, we're going to invade. Yes, yes, we've been down this road before, and I fully trust the AI to recreate what just happened, so I'm going to auto-resolve this, and there you have it. Bloody Nora. My apologies, Rotterdam, but unfortunately the Netherlands still looks far larger than I would like it to. It's nothing quite like a good morning jog with the boys. I need not even do anything anymore. I've been leading this division by example for yonks now, and they just know what to do. What are we doing here, chaps? What's the tea? Oh, yeah, that was great fun. Let's have a go. Now, oh, would you look at that? Anyone would think we're on an active war zone. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Except for bullets. Bullets will most definitely kill you. Sharp blades, sharper tongues. I can't feed the platypus. I'm expanding the empire. Are we seriously doing this again? What is it? Do you really need to ask that at this point? And when I win, I do urge you to not throw a hissy fit and crash my game again, like you have done in the past. I think that was King William. And the key word there is was. Tally ho, chaps. This isn't the best organization I've seen, and you are going to pay dearly. Nice flag there, mate. Let's see how it saves you. Huh. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? There are two Dutch soldiers left, and then we'd have defeated King William for the fourth time. It's going to be great. And victory is ours. 